Christ to the Nations and the Nations to the Church. Daily Devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. By Dr. Carol Geisler, based on the hymn of the same title found in the Lutheran Service Book number 528, for Sunday, January 31st, 2021. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. My gracious Master and my God, assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of Thy name. During the pandemic, masks have been required attire, even in worship. Sometimes we must sing through a mask, and in some areas, singing is discouraged or even forbidden for fear of spreading the virus. Our hymn expresses our longing for a thousand tongues to sing, but we might be satisfied with just one unmuffled voice to sing our great Redeemer's praise. With one tongue or with a thousand, what glories, what triumphs of our God would we choose to proclaim? We could sing of the personal triumphs of God's compassionate care in our lives. We might sing of the gift of family or work, or offer thanks and praise for healing for a loved one, or for a loved one who has been called home to live in his presence. We might sing of the new year so recently begun, of our hopes and our fears and our trust in our gracious King for whatever the future holds. But above all, We will, and we must sing, the glories and triumphs of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For our songs do more than offer praise. Songs tell the story of salvation. Some songs and hymns recount the full story, the story of our sin and rebellion against God, the promise of the Savior, Jesus, His redeeming work and the new life and forgiveness that we have through faith in His name. In this way, a single hymn will proclaim the whole counsel of God. At other times, our songs focus on certain aspects of God's promises and their fulfillment in Jesus. Hymns for the various seasons of the church year, Advent, Christmas, Epiphany, Lent, and Easter, these proclaim and celebrate the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. During Pentecost, we sing of the gift of the Holy Spirit and his ongoing work in our lives. One day, our voices, unmasked and unmuffled, will join in the chorus of praise as we, by God's grace, through faith in Christ Jesus, as we stand before his throne. In his shining presence, there will be far more than a thousand tongues to sing the glories and triumphs of God. And we, you and I, will add our voices to the voice of many angels numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands in the voice of a great multitude that no one can number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages standing before the throne and before the Lamb. Together, we will sing the praise of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who was slain to save us, whose blood washes us clean from sin. Until that day, We pray that God will help us, by His Spirit, to proclaim His grace and glory in song and speech and written word to reflect His love in our lives and to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of His name. Please pray with me. Almighty God and Savior, accept my grateful praise, both masked and unmasked. Amen. Amen. 